You heard about Bigfoot? Yeah, everybody knows about Bigfoot. I know some cryptids you don't know. Sure, try me. You know Kappa? Yep. Nessie? Yep. Monocog? Mono what? Ah, got him. We're back with your favorite show. That's right, it's the YC Weekly. Last week we claimed we were going into the occult, but this week we really mean it. Ever heard of Bigfoot? That's right, we're talking about cryptids. Ah, cryptids. If you haven't seen one with your own eyes, you've definitely heard stories about them. But instead of going into details about Nessie, here are some cryptids you might not have heard about. In West Virginia, several reports have claimed to see a bipedal humanoid with wings in the sleepy town of Point Pleasant. Despite Mothman's renowned title, witnesses have claimed that he in no way looks like a moth. Huh. The winged cryptid was reported to be about 7 feet tall with a wingspan of 10 to 15 feet and able to fly over 100 miles per hour. That's impressive. Sorry, how would they be able to measure how fast it can fly? Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Named after the state where it was first sighted, the devil was spotted in a region of New Jersey called the Pine Barrens. These sightings stretch back to the 17th century. Dang. Story goes that in a clan full of misfits and layabouts, one woman got pregnant for the 13th time. She cursed the child in her frustration, and surprisingly enough, the child was born completely normal. Until it sprouted wings, grew hooves, and a snout, and killed everything in its path. Talk about tough love. On the other side of the globe, accounts have been found of a humanoid roughly the size of a child with scaly skin in Japanese folklore. Kappas, a conglomerate of the words Kawa meaning river and Wapa meaning child, are said to inhabit ponds and rivers throughout Japan. They're kind of like frog people, kinda. They're usually recognized by their beak, shell, and a flat hairless region on the top of their head regarded as the source of their power. Their behavior ranges from some relatively innocent pranks to some pretty questionable acts that we won't be going into. I will say though, if you're planning on going swimming to Japan anytime soon, make sure to bring your floaties. Well, that's all for this week. Even though we're not even close to Halloween, we thought these creatures were definitely worth sharing. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, make sure to stay far away from the woods. You never know what you might find in there.